Hello, hello, fifth grade artist friends. It's Mrs. Heinzelman. We are all set for another art slash math lesson. Um, we are going to talk about the artist Piet Mondrian, and then you will get to create a grid drawing much like his. When you're finished with that, you will calculate some area and some perimeter for different rectangles and squares that you're creating. So, without further ado, let me introduce to you Piet Mondrian. He began as a realistic landscape painter, didn't always just paint squares and rectangles, but he changed the way that he painted. He didn't want his pictures to look like nature. He wanted to explore how color and line work together. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about geometric and organic shapes. So Mondrian specifically did not want his work to look natural. He did not want it to look like nature. Therefore, we know that he threw out organic shapes. He just was focusing on geometric. And specifically, he always went with squares and rectangles. Over time, his work got even more simple. He didn't use any details and he only used a few colors. So by looking at his artwork, what do you think is the palette that he preferred? Which colors did he like? Well, if you guessed primary colors, you are correct indeed. And besides using those primary colors, he used horizontal and vertical lines in his art. For 20 years, he used only black, white, gray, and the three primary colors. He was always trying to find a perfect balance in his art. Sometimes he would change the thickness of the lines. Other times he would place the lines close together or far apart. So looking at this painting here, you can see that most all of the lines are pretty similar um, than when you get, whoops, up in here, these lines are more narrow. When he was 68 years old, he moved to New York City. Perhaps all the skyscrapers and the lines in the streets reminded him of his paintings. This is another painting by Mondrian. This reminds me of a video game. Here is another one. You can see he's got these really big squares and then a little tiny one to try to throw some balance. And then you have color here. And then with this all being white, you need to have something way down here to help so it doesn't feel so heavy at the top that it kind of tips over. That is trying to create balance. We have that here. And these thinner lines here are trying to carry some of the weight that this uh, yellow rectangle is creating. And there's the sideways one. So I'm going to flip over to the other camera so you guys can see what we've got going on on the workstation and we will get to it.